On a farm in Woodstock, Jack Purdy and his family grow two of Ohio's most common crops. My family and I have been farming for 35 years here in Champaign County. Uh, we raise corn and soybeans, and we hope to continue to do that. But a barn that once housed livestock is now home to a rather uncommon piece of equipment, which utilizes their soybeans in an exciting new way. We make B100, which means it's a 100% biodiesel. From the fields to the fuel tank, biodiesel has become a new way for farmers like the Purdy's to expand their agricultural horizons. I have two sons that wanted to remain in agriculture. It's very difficult to build a large enough land base to uh, allow three farm families to work. So this was a way that we could continue in ag without having to build that base. We've used biodiesel here on our farm for probably 12 or 15 years. We didn't experience any problems with it, and that's one of the things that encouraged us to begin to produce biodiesel. This fall, after we got our facility in production, we used a B70, which would be 70% biodiesel in our combine and also our other farm equipment. And we're excited to continue to see higher and higher percentages of biodiesel mixed into regular petro fuel. All right, well, this is our plant. Right now, we're producing about 3 million gallons a year. This is where the initial bean oil comes in. It's just virgin soybean oil. It comes into the, the first blend tank here. The idea with this first area is to get all the water out of the oil. Water and diesel don't go together, so we want to extract the water from the oil. We're divided up into five different skids through the plant, and each skid has a separate, unique purpose. And as the soybean oil passes through the plant, it undergoes a chemical reaction, during which it becomes a usable fuel for any diesel engine. But before it can be called biodiesel, it must fall within the government standards. And when testing their biodiesel, these farmers look a bit more like scientists. Here's our result. This is all what we look for on the B100 test, and that's the test that you have to have. You have to provide that the C of A with each load to prove that you're within specs for B100. This batch is well within specs. Biodiesel offers three advantages that we see here. One, of course, it is cleaner burning and more environmentally friendly. The second reason is it lessens our dependence on foreign oil. We think that's an important thing here. And the third reason is that the exhausts that may be breathed in by humans are not as toxic as they would be if they were burned in a, with a petrodiesel. Our family does not consider ourselves to be green. We're not, in that sense, radical, but we do want to do the right thing. I think it's important for all people to do what they can to preserve the environment that we are given.